At first, it was originally intended to be just another civil engineering undertaking. However, after 30 years, it has been shown to be among the most expensive megastructures in modern history, with a staggering $20 billion price tag. Presently, it appears to be moving very quickly, heading towards the ocean's bottom. Was it destined to fail from the beginning, or will engineers be able to save it? Let's dive further into the history of Kansai International Airport in Japan. Kansai International Airport, KIX, a pivotal aviation hub, is strategically positioned on an artificial island in Osaka Bay, Japan. This innovative approach to construction, which began in the late 1980s, involved the meticulous planning and execution of building extensive facilities on the newly created island. The island's development was evidence of groundbreaking engineering, marking KIX as a symbol of architectural ingenuity and resilience against the challenging natural conditions of the bay. The inception of Kansai International Airport traces back to the challenging circumstances faced by Osaka in the 1960s. The existing international airport in the city was grappling with severe overcrowding issues, intensified by its inconvenient location. Situated between a lot of apartments and commercial buildings, Itami Airport faced constant complaints from residents due to the noise generated by the frequent arrivals and departures of airplanes. This dilemma posed a considerable obstacle to expanding the existing airport infrastructure. Complicating matters further was Osaka being one of Japan's most densely populated cities. Finding a suitable plot of land for a new airport without encroaching on residential spaces proved to be a big challenge. Despite these obstacles, officials were driven by the belief that the region was missing out on crucial trading opportunities, particularly in comparison to Tokyo. This realization led to a determined effort to construct a new, larger airport. A visionary solution emerged, the decision to build the new airport offshore in Osaka Bay. This innovative approach held the promise of addressing both the space constraints faced by the densely populated city and reducing the noise pollution associated with airport operations. Little did officials know at the time that they were embarking on an exceedingly complex project that would demand two decades of meticulous planning before the project could even start. The concept of an artificial island for Kansai International Airport not only showcased Japan's commitment to overcoming urban challenges, but also reflected a forward-thinking approach to infrastructure development. The future perspective of this ambitious plan has presented the airport as a symbol of resilience, innovation, and strategic foresight in the realm of global aviation. Official construction on Kansai International Airport started in 1987, marking the beginning of a colossal undertaking. One of the primary challenges faced by builders was the creation of an artificial island measuring 2.5 miles in length and 1.5 miles in width. To achieve this, approximately 10,000 workers embarked on an immense dredging and excavation project involving the extraction of material from the seabed and the excavation of three mountains to secure the necessary construction materials. Over the next three years, an astounding 10 million work hours were invested in building a substantial layer of earth that would be approximately 130 feet above the seafloor. Simultaneously, another formidable challenge appeared. The seabed beneath the island was composed of soft, hollow silt clay. Engineers came up with an ingenious solution by creating a foundation built out of more than 2 million vertical pipes filled with sand. This innovative approach aimed to absorb moisture from the surrounding soil and layers beneath, ensuring the stability of the artificial island. Against all odds, by the 4th of September 1994, the builders achieved the seemingly impossible. Kansai International Airport officially opened its doors to the public serving as the latest international gateway to the megacities of Kyoto, Kobe, and Osaka. The airport became a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The resilience of Kansai International Airport was soon put to the test. Within just one year of its completion, the airport withstood a massive earthquake that claimed the lives of over 6,000 people. Four years later, it demonstrated its structural strength by weathering a powerful typhoon with wind speeds reaching up to 200 kilometers per hour. These instances underscored the airport's robust construction 
and its ability to endure extreme natural forces, solidifying its reputation as evidence of engineering excellence and durability. Unfortunately, the sea had different intentions for this airfield. But before we dive more deeply into this topic, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with all the mega projects happening in the world. Moving forward, researchers have discovered that the island had already sunk by 26 feet by 1999. The engineers started to be alarmed because this number was 25% more than they had originally predicted. Officials have invested an extra $150 million in the project to address this severe situation. Most of the money was used to raise the barrier, which was constructed to shield the man-made island from the forces of the sea. The engineers expanded the airport because they were convinced that this, and a few other steps, would permanently resolve the issue. The resulting Terminal 1, measuring 1.7 kilometers and designed by famous Italian architect Renzo Piano, is thought to be the world's longest airport terminal. Eventually, with two runways and two terminals, Kansai International Airport was operating at full capacity by 2008. Additionally, a $1 billion bridge was constructed by engineers to link Rinku Town's mainland with the artificial island. The airport was recognized as the civil engineering landmark of the millennium by the American Society of Civil Engineers for its outstanding achievements, although the project's expenses also increased. The Kansai International Airport was the most expensive civil construction project at the time, with an official cost of $20 billion by 2008. Even so, there was no indication that the construction was going to stop. A new international departure area was unveiled as recently as December 2023 as part of Japan's five-year plan to renovate Terminal 1. A brand new immigration and security section, as well as the largest walkthrough duty-free store in Japan, are among the newly announced amenities. It is anticipated that the renovations would be completed in time for Osaka to host World Expo 2025. By the end of 2024, Kansai International Airport will rank among the busiest airports in Asia, handling over 20 million passengers annually, in addition to a number of upscale retail establishments and restaurants. Kansai International Airport plays a crucial role in enhancing Japan's connectivity with the rest of the world. It facilitates the movement of millions of passengers annually, contributing to the economic growth of the Kansai region and the nation's prosperity. Beyond its practical significance, the airport stands as an architectural marvel, embodying Japan's commitment to innovation and progress in the field of aviation. Nonetheless, Several natural disasters have served as a continual reminder of the project's hazards, making the future of Kansai International Airport far from certain. Typhoon Jebi in 2018 badly flooded the runway, trapping thousands of travelers. Despite claims that all employees are equipped to handle earthquakes and tsunamis, engineers disagree about whether the island can be prevented from sinking to the bottom of the sea at all. Even though the airport's initial sinking slowed down to about 3 inches per year in 2008, it had already advanced 38 feet towards sea level. According to some predictions, it will drop a further 13 feet by 2056. In just 32 years, if the worst predictions come out to be true, the Kansai International Airport will reach sea level and be well on its way to becoming a contemporary Atlantis. What do you think about Japan's prestigious airport? Will it eventually sink to the bottom of the sea, or is it destined for greater things?